Good morning. We will continue our discussion on the first module of Geotechnical Engineering 1. Now, to refresh, we started off with an introduction to soil mechanics, how soil is formed by physical disintegration and chemical decomposition. We briefly touched upon the major soil deposits in India and we defined a few terms of void ratio, porosity, degree of saturation, air content, specific gravity, moisture content, unit weight, etc based on the three-phase system diagram. Then we moved on to a few relations connecting the, the, the properties that we defined and in the previous video we were discussing the determination of water content by oven drying method and the specific gravity using pyknometer method. Now in this particular video we'll discuss how the field density of soil is determined using two methods core cut method and sand replacement method. Now the core cut method is a very simple test. For us to determine the, the uh, field density of soil, what you do is you have what is called as a core cutter here and a collar. So you go out to the field using the core cutter, the collar and you try to squeeze or jack in or drive in the core cutter into the ground using a hammer. So you have a hammer here, you have the core cutter here and you have the collar. So fundamentally what you do is you drive the core cutter into the soil using the hammer. Now the collar is provided at the top of the core cutter so that the hammer blows that fall is not directly on the core cutter instead it's transferred through the collar. So you don't get any deformed core cutter and once you drive the core cutter into the soil and you can take it out scooping the soil that is confining the core cutter and since the core cutter is of a definite volume you can find the density of the field soil by just arriving at the weight or mass of the soil that's within this core cutter. So basically mass divided by the volume of the core cutter which is usually a standard 1 liter or 1000 cc you will get the field density. Like I said the procedure is quite simple. You place the core cutter on a level soil ground. You make sure that there's no debris on top of that. You don't want you don't want the grass to, to be into that core cutter so you level the surface clean it and then place the core cutter over the soil or the ground place the collar over it and then you have the jacking mechanism or the driving mechanism using the hammer and you you ram it down into the soil take out the core which will have soil in it so fundamentally you transfer this setup into the laboratory using a weighing balance you get the weight and then the mass divided by the volume of the core cutter. The core cutter is obviously a cylinder so you can find the volume of the core cutter and from weight and the volume or mass and the volume you'll get the density. Quite simple you can have a tabular column like this you find the mass of the core cutter which I've marked as A you can find the mass of the core cutter plus the soil and this condition which I've written as B and the mass of the soil which is inside the core cutter would obviously be equal to B minus A B minus A and you know the volume of the core cutter like I, like I just mentioned in the previous slide it's usually of a standard volume roughly 1 liters or if you want a precise volume you can find the diameter and the length and then you can calculate the volume of the cylinder. So whenever you find, find the inside diameter and the length should be found out in the inside. So you find the volume of the core cutter, you have the mass of the soil, you just divide the mass by the volume and what you get is the density of the field soil. Very simple test but obviously as you can intuitively understand it is limited to the surface soil. You can't go much deeper into it. The standard dimension of this core cutter is around 12 centimeters. So of course it, 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 it 
is very easy to understand that you can't go deeper than for example 20 centimeters into the ground you'll have to have manual labor executed there and it may prove to be laborious but the experiment is quite simple now the uh, second test is called as a sand replacement method now the sand replacement method you have fundamentally three things in the laboratory three apparatus which you can use for determination of the field density using sand replacement method you have a cylindrical calibrating container you have a sand pouring cylinder and you have a metal tray with a hole now the total process of the experiment can be divided into two number one is a calibration and number two is a field density of soil determination now calibration just means that before going up to the field you find the density of the sand the sand and not the field soil sand you use sand to find the volume of a hole which you will understand in the subsequent slides now in this particular slide all you have to understand is that calibration just means that you find the density of the sand inside the laboratory so this is a sand pouring cylinder inside which you have sand and by calibration you find out the density of the sand the second step is to go out to the field and using the metal tray which has a hole in the center and using a chisel or any equipment that would help you to dig out a hole you dig the hole take the field soil out into this this particular tray make sure you you don't lose any soil any soil particle that was dug out should be kept within the tray because that is a mass that we are interested in so you find the mass of the soil that is inside the tray you dig the hole take the soil out into the tray find the mass of the soil the whole process of calibration using the sand is to find the volume of the hole the volume of the hole is nothing but the volume occupied by this soil earlier before digging out so since the hole that you have manually dug is not necessarily of a proper shape to find the volume you need to have the sand calibration we'll discuss in detail now the difference between the core cutter method and the sand replacement method are a few in the sand replacement method like i said the mass of the soil that you dig out can be found out easily but when you dig the hole no proper volume or shape can be expected for this hole so to get the unknown volume of the hole you can use the non density of the sand and the weight of the sand earlier in the core cutter method it was quite simple the core cutter had a proper volume so you just have to find the mass of the soil divided by the proper volume of the core cutter but here since you have an irregular hole that you have manually dug you don't have a proper volume and a proper shape so to find the proper to find the proper volume to, to, to find the exact volume of the hole which doesn't have a proper shape you use the sand now we'll start the discussion on that you have a calibrating container and a sand pouring cylinder i have calibrating container here and I have a sand pouring cylinder here so the first step is to find the density of the sand that's within the calibrating that's within the sand pouring cylinder for that I can place the sand pouring cylinder over the calibrating container and there's a trap door here which can be opened and once you open the trap door sand starts to pour into the calibrating container like this so it doesn't stop with filling the container it adds a conical volume above that just like any conical volume that you get when you pour sand over a plain surface now like i said the first step is to get the density of the sand i have highlighted sand here because i want to make sure that you don't confuse it with the field soil so first step calibration which is to get the density of the sand so you have the calibrating container here you have the sand pouring container here inside which you have 
the sand so I have marked mass M1 here and in the second step when you open the trap door a portion of the sand gets filled into the calibrating container plus you have a cone formed here so the weight that remains in the sand pouring cylinder let that be M2 so M1 minus M2 is quite simple right M1 minus M2 is nothing but the weight of the sand in this cone plus in this cylinder right so have two things there mass of the sand inside the ca ca calibrating container and mass of the cone is equal to m1 minus m2 m1 minus m2 is equal to mass of the sand in the calibrating container plus mass of the cone now the second thing that i can do is to place a glass surface and using the sand pouring cylinder again you open the trap door to fill soil over the glass surface so you just have the cone formed there you had the calibrating container the same mass m1 open the trap door over a glass panel or a glass plate and you just form a cone there let the mass that remains within this is m3 so in this case m1 minus m3 will be equal to the mass of the cone m1 minus m3 will be equal to the mass of the cone so i have the mass of the cone here i have the mass of the sand plus mass of the cone here so from these two things i can find the mass of the sand which means i can find basically the mass of the sand which has occupied this cylindrical volume within the calibrating container this volume mass of the sand so from that i can get the density of the sand because the calibrating container is of a regular shape so using the mass of the sand divided by the volume of the calibrating container by finding the of course the diameter and length you can find the density of the sand so fundamentally in the first step all that you have done is just to find the density of the sand which will help you in the field to find the volume of the hole so in the in the field you have the soil which have marked in dark brown color and I can have an irregular hole dug like this so from that I'll get the mass of the soil so what I do is I keep the rectangular tray with the central hole there using a chisel or any excavating tool I can excavate the soil out so that soil will have a mass which I can find using a weighing balance that's quite simple and now what you do is you bring the sand pouring container sand pouring cylinder to the field and you keep it over the hole that you have dug and again you have the same mass m1 as you had earlier and once you have kept the sand pouring cylinder over the hole that you've dug you can open the trap door right like this so again once you open the trap door sand pulls down it fills the hole that you have dug a regular hole that you have dug plus it forms a cone as usual above it so when you subtract m2 from m1 in this case what you get is mass of the sand in the hole mass of the sand in the hole plus mass of the cone right but you know the mass of the cone which you have found out earlier already using the plate method so since you know the mass of the cone you can find what remains there which is mass of the sand in the hole right you just have m1 minus m2 which is equal to mass of the sand in the hole plus a mass of the cone in which you already know the mass of the cone from which you can find the mass of the sand in the hole which the hole which is of an irregular shape again and since you know the density of the sand density of the sand 
from the earlier step of calibration, you can find the volume of the hole. Volume of the hole is equal to mass of the sand in the hole divided by the density of the sand. So by this method, you can find the volume of the hole which is of an irregular nature. Now from the volume of the hole and the mass of the soil, not the sand, but the soil that you have dug out earlier, you can find the field density of the soil. So field density of the soil is equal to mass of the soil divided by the volume of the hole. So the probable complexity that you may feel in this method is just for the sheer reason that the hole that you have dug out is of an irregular shape. And to find the volume of an irregular shape, you use a standard material which is sand and using the sand and its known density you find the volume of the hole and once you know the volume of the hole and the mass of the soil you can get the field density so basically these two method core cutter method and the sand replacement methods are two different methods that you can employ in the field to find the field density of the soil